This is three problem moves everyone should do. These are movements that you can do without any equipment all inside your home. They're natural movements here. It's going to develop functional strength, specifically core strength, balance, and also mobility and flexibility with these movements. Now, we first learned these from some amazing masters of movement. These are the original founders of parkour, Yamakaze, Chow Bell, Laurent Piemontesi, Jan Hanatra, and we did workshops with them. And this, these three movements that you're gonna learn today was literally the foundation, the fundamentals of their training. And this is how they developed their core strength and their coordination. And this type of training is exactly what has influenced many people in Ninja Warrior, some of the top athletes in Ninja Warrior that you've seen, uh, many of these athletes that you see doing incredible movements and stunts for movies. This was the foundation of their training, okay? So you're gonna learn that. I'm gonna share with you beginner to advanced modifications or versions of each of these three exercises. Now, anytime while you're watching this video, going through the moves, if you wanna get started in your first workout with us, you can join us below. You can get your first workout absolutely free. Or if you wanna jump into our program where you get a full done for you schedule, follow along workouts, things like this, or the opportunity to get those, then check out our Rapid Problem Fitness program. I'm gonna leave that in the description as well. All right, let's jump into this. All right, this first exercise is going to be your QM. You wanna keep a neutral back this entire time with the QM crawl. A lot of people will tend to go too far up. We wanna to try to keep it nice and as flat as possible in crawling here. Now, we're gonna do just simple beginner to advanced versions here. So I want you to start off with the beginner. Once you master that, then you can go to the advanced. So the beginner modification is we're going to get in a tabletop position. All you're gonna do is start off by lifting opposites, getting comfortable with this reciprocating motion. So lifting the left hand and the right leg, okay? And then repeating with the opposites. Then we're gonna go into the intermediate level, crawling and moving now. So still on the hands and knees, and we're just moving and getting the reciprocating motion. And one thing I wanna mention with the intermediate, is stepping nice and short at first, okay? A big mistake beginners will make is the hand will go too far forward and then their leg goes here and then just it's hard to really get the motion. So try to move the hand and arm or hand and leg that's moving the same distance and it's easier if you go short small steps at the beginning, okay? Now onto the advanced level, that's where you're gonna do the full QM crawl here and lift the hips up by squeezing and putting pressure into the ground with the feet. Boom, and we're right here. You wanna find that balance point. Now we're taking bigger steps, we're really reaching, and we're, when we're taking these big steps, once you start getting more advanced, you really wanna reach, right? This is where you're gonna place the legs to the outside of the arms here, okay? Because that will allow you to go even further and really step, okay? And we'd rather open up out here than in, okay? So really stepping all right problem move number two this is the inverted qm so for beginners all we're going to do start off in an elevated position using a sturdy sturdy chair sturdy ledge here hands close to the hips fingertips spread and we're pressing up just play around with moving the hips forward and opening up this shoulder angle here okay and if you want to you can start to play around with stepping okay just small steps, just in this position, right? Using the opposites. Now, once that's comfortable, we're gonna take to the ground. I want you to sit in L position. Place those hands close to the hips, and you're gonna squeeze the glutes and move the hips up and forward, okay? And just go up as far as you can, and then back down, okay? And some of us, we might just be here, okay? And we're just gonna go back and forth. And then, where you can go full all out, tabletop, inverted tabletop here. If you feel that this is uncomfortable having the fingertips face forward, you can slightly rotate them out to help open up. Once you get that intermediate, now it's on to the advanced level. You don't need as much mobility as this, but we're gonna be moving, so you're gonna need more balance, and you're gonna need to be stronger to perform this, okay? Have the feet planted on the ground, hands again close to the hips. We're gonna work on stepping. Using reciprocating motion, the opposites working together, so, each step, small little steps here, and we're gonna step together. Okay, back and forth. Small steps. As you start to feel stronger and more confident, 
take bigger steps, okay? And notice my hips are staying low. Through this crawling, you're gonna notice if you keep your center of gravity and your hips low, it's gonna be easier to do this. Problem move number three, this is the sideways QM. This one is a lot of fun, but it takes some mobility here. You're gonna get down, you're gonna have the hips low, you're gonna have the chest as upright as possible, but you're leaning slightly forward so you can have weight on the hands here. This is also gonna develop that upper body strength as well, but a lot of mobility and flexibility with the legs here, and you're stepping side to side, okay? If you want, you know, take two steps here. And the trick with this is what I was taught from the founders is you wanna be able to step with the hand basically to this opposite foot here, okay? But as a beginner, you're gonna to wanna to take smaller steps, right? Okay, now, the first exercise as a beginner, getting down this low, again, this, this requires a good amount of mobility and it can be very difficult. We're gonna work on getting that mobility and flexibility with that side lunge position. So all you're gonna do is stand upright and then lean to one side, go up nice and slow and controlled, and then lean to the other side. Now we're gonna go a little bit lower and we're using the ledge again. So I'm gonna bring this over here so you can really see. And this time, because when we're on the ground here, again, we're leaning slightly forward, still keeping the back straight, right? But this requires mobility and flexibility. All we're gonna do is simply elevate ourselves. All right, uh, you can already feel if you're trying this, you know, at home. This definitely helps, it opens up. So now you get to feel a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure on the hands. You can start off by just going side to side, really feeling how, you know, putting weight and pressure in the arms, the wrists. And then you can start moving around a little bit, okay? taking those steps or moving. Then once that starts to feel comfortable, you can move it to ground level. And that's where you're going down in that squat position. This is where that mobility comes in. And here, you're gonna lean forward and notice I'm on the balls of my feet here. We, the goal is though, you wanna have your hips as low as possible. But if you can at first, you're not mobile enough, just make sure your back is nice and straight and you have the weight into the hands here and you can lean forward a little bit, pour more weight into the hands to really help lift those hips up so you can move those legs over, okay? And then as you start to progress, you're gonna to wanna to have the mobility to go lower and have the chest a little bit more upright and you're stepping, okay? So you can kinda of see there, that progression, because eventually you wanna be able to hang out in this position that's gonna give you more control, more balance, right? But if you're not there yet, you can hang out here, have the legs maybe a little bit even further away, and just practice on that movement. All right, so those are those three problem movements there, problem moves. Now make sure, if you're a beginner, use those progressions. Those are gonna come in handy, and then gradually progress into these movements. And what's really cool is when you start to do them, all three of these movements you can put together. So you can switch into both the QMs, you can turn and go into your sideways QM, which can then turn into your forward QM and transitioning. You can have a lot of fun with these movements here and go to different flow moves as well. So it's really, like I said, the foundation of your movement. You get those down, it's gonna open up a whole new world of movement training for you. And train those, say, you know, at least three times a week. Try to get those sets and reps in. So you're doing three sets of 10 crawls there or 30 seconds of each crawl. And it's gonna be a good really good progression for you, really good exercise for you. Now, if you like this type of training, you wanna improve on your movement training, you wanna develop that lean, functional, flexible body in the comfort of your own home, then you gotta check out our first workout we have for you. This is an awesome body weight strength workout. You can check it out down below in the description, absolutely free. Or if you wanna jump into our training, get a full plan, get some workouts that you can follow along with us, then check out our Rapid Pro Fitness program. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, leave a comment down below, and then I'll see you in the next video. So we shot this in Colorado before the quarantine, before the lockdown. Um, I know right now, all over the world, things are crazy. So I hope you and your family are doing well, staying strong, staying healthy. Now here in Peru, they're actually allowing people to go to parks, go outside to get some exercise. There's still some rules and whatnot, but huge for being able to just go outside and move, you can see the footage here. Some men training here with me and my girlfriend. A little rusty, but it's just great to go outside and move around. I want to give a shout out to all the people who were part of, and you, 
who are a part of the Primal Movement Challenge. It was a great time. We just wrapped it up. We got our top five, actually top six, because it was so close, uh, finalists and winners here. They went above and beyond this challenge. They really shine. So I'm just gonna highlight some of the people, some of the progress seen here. It was just an awesome journey for many of us, moving together, training together, especially during these weird, crazy times. It was definitely special and I'm excited for the next challenge. So if you wanna join a challenge in the future, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications. You can join our email newsletter because we'll make sure to announce on this channel and then also in our email newsletter. So you get a heads up or an update whenever we start or get ready to start our new challenge. All right, so talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Train safe.